pan down. Oh God. Hi guys, Chloe and I are going to share a, our talk about a product for you. Oh my goodness, she is literally standing in the chair. <laughs> um, I will be getting the Clinique, good girl, good girl, the Clinique uh, CC Cream a try today. I have it on right now with all my makeup and I actually kind of like it, but it's like 35 bucks, so I don't know if I'm going to do it. But, but if you want to see the first impression to this CC Cream, then just keep watching. Bye! She's sitting on the stool with me. Like, what the crap? Like, seriously? <laughs> yes, you are. It's a good girl. And Rocky's sitting down here, but... Morning, guys. Sorry I look like a hot mess. I literally just rolled out of the bed to come film this for you guys because I have a long day ahead of me of Christmas shopping and being sneaky and bringing your lunch and yes it's gonna be really exciting also cleaning editing filming everything is gonna be a crazy day so I wanted to bring you guys along for the ride and I also wanted to put one of my products to the test so I got this L'Oreal uh, L'Oreal this Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream and I could use some moisture surge right now my skin's kind of suffering from the winter months but I put it up online you can't see it <coughs> And get my trackpad over here. It is the Moisture Surge CC Cream Hydrating Color Corrector Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So it says that you can get them in different shades, and I got this one for free because I had 100 points at Sephora. And this one doesn't have a color on it. It doesn't. It says all skin types. So I think that's very stupid, but we'll see. And I already did it on the back of my hand. It looks really, really dark. Um, anyway, so it says it's a formula BB and CC cream covered sheer to moderate and one simple step for glowing skin lightweight formula instantly color corrects a range of complexion concerns redness dullness shallowness so all you need all you see is a healthy looking glow it is oil free hydration and sunscreen mean a more flawless look tomorrow too each versatile shade is appropriate is appropriate for a range of skin tones and undertones and then it says for lighter coverage, um, spot, apply CC cream where skin looks red or dull, moderate coverage, wear alone over bare skin and mix a little with your moisturizer. And fuller coverage, wear, un wear it under foundation, obviously because you're using the foundation. Anyway, so we're just going to do the, um, I guess between moderate coverage and fuller coverage because I'm just going to use this by itself, but it says to use with a moisturizer so they also have a little video that we can watch which I think I'm going to do just to get a little bit of background here okay so what I'm hearing from them which I should have done my own research before which I thought CC I did cream is one of those products that you grab oh. and you go and your skin looks what a creeper over here hey baby she just wants to be in the video oh my goodness and Rocky's down here you can't see him but he's down here um what was I going to say you little heathen let me get through this video you can hear Rocky. Um, okay, BB cream is something that is going to have a lot more coverage than a CC cream. I did not know that. So if it's just supposed to, oh my gosh, sheer it out, then CC creams have been working. However, um, the BB cream is supposed to make you look matte. I've tried a lot of BB creams that do not make you look matte. And so let's go ahead and try the sucker out. So I swatched, oh my gosh, Chloe. Baby, I got a film. It doesn't have a weird smell or anything like that. See how dark that is? That's going to be way too dark on me. Click off, off, off. It's going to be way too dark for me. So, hey, okay, let's go ahead and give it a whirl. It says it's, if I blend it out, maybe. Or, I'm going to get some, hmm, no, we'll go ahead and do it this way. So, let's see. Excuse me, Rocky. I need this. Okay, this one's very creamy. But it is very dark. So this is something that I can add to my foundation to deepen it because my foundation is very, very light. I mean, it's light in color. So it's very, very creamy. Like the creamiest anything, like BB cream, CC cream thing that I've ever tried. It just feels really nice on the skin, like a whipped butter, like uh, body butter. That's what it feels like. So I've gained a tan. I will say that. I 
So it's a little dewy, so what I always like to do is take a little bit of the product and put it on a beauty blender and just blot it all over my skin. Let me bring you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it did blur, but my skin's so dark now. So I wish they had like a light formula, or at least medium light instead of such a deep color. So it did blur a little bit. I just feel like I look like a Oompa Loompa and a very bad way. I look almost orange. Okay, so it doesn't cover up anything. Um, what I was thinking that it was, it's not going to blend down my neck. Um, it doesn't feel slimy or greasy. It just feels moisturizing on my skin, which is a plus. Um, so I'm not saying that I'm never going to buy this, go out and buy this product. I think I actually might because it's just the way it feels. But I'd want to get the shade that I'm in for like really casual days if I'm going to the grocery store. But I still have a lot of hyperpigmentation that is popping up. And I want to cover that up. So I can do some concealer. But you know what? Well, it's so dark. Like I look literally like an Oompa Loompa. Like huge color difference. So final verdict that... So I will say there's no smell, which is amazing. I love the formula, how creamy it is. It's just so dark for me. It doesn't cover that much, which I knew that it wasn't going to cover. I like it. I do like it. I'm not really sure how much it is. Let's see how much it is. And it is a $35 BB cream, so or CC cream. So unless it's like a miracle product, I will not be buying this again, which I'm pretty sure, which this will last me a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it does throughout the day. But it does feel very moisturizing and like a luxurious um, product. However, it's not really doing anything for me. I just don't think I like CC cream. All this, I'll leave all the CC cream uh, first impressions down below. I just don't think I like them. But anyways, I'm finished my makeup. I'll be right back. Hey guys, okay, so my makeup is completely done. I did, um, let's see, what did I do? Oh, I just used concealer. I didn't put a foundation on it at all. I just concealed my blemishes on the side. Well, it's not blemishes. It's just scarring. And so I actually like how it looks. Um, I just had to blend it down my neck, to, at least to where my scarf covered up. Hey, baby. And, um, yeah, so I'm off for the day. I, it is currently 1019, and I have got, I should have been out of the house 19 months ago. So I'm going to keep you guys updated probably every two hours, letting you see how it lasts. So right now my skin feels really really good and um <clears throat> it looks really natural just besides the fact that it's a lot darker and if Chloe doesn't nick it off hmm. but okay guys um i'll update you and i will talk to y'all very soon okay guys so very quickly um the cc cream has held up pretty well um honestly it's not shiny at all but honestly today is like really really cold outside so i'm not gonna like get oily at all I don't think, but I actually kind of like how my skin looks. I just need a lighter color if I was going to repurchase this because it's so much darker than my neck. You see that? It's so much darker. <sighs> but, um, yeah, I actually kind of like it. This is the first one I've ever liked. I have, oh my gosh, guys, I just spent a lot of money. Um, I bought all the gifts for Garrett. He's completely done. My mom is almost done. My brother is done. <sighs> I bought so much stuff. But Garrett, I got him a really nice gift. I can't wait to show you Christmas Day what he gets uh, when we open Christmas morning. So it's 105 right now. And I got my Chloe. You just like being in this video. Come in. Because now she can stand up on the thing. Um, so got a lot of stuff done. Still have a lot to do. But this is my 1 o'clock update. Everything's holding in fine. I'm not flaking anywhere. That would be my main concern since it's so cold outside is for my skin to be flaking so it's done good with moisture that i've noticed but um me and chloe are gonna go eat our noodle bowl and we'll talk to you in a little bit right chloe right chloe she doesn't like that oh there we go okay okay so it is now 4 40 and my face let's see it also looks about the same um not really anything different I mean my little hyperpigmentation is a little bit poking out right here there's not really any product there anymore I am a little shiny right here which I didn't put a primer on so I expected to be shiny anyway um 
You can see where I didn't really blend it very well on my neck. Like I went, whoo, whoo, and that's it. So, so far I do like it. It's just way too dark for my for me. So if I went back, I'd get a different shade and color. But yeah, other than that, it's just so red, like in person. Yeah, so far I do like it for a normal regular day not like a work day or anything like that just very casual type work. so that is checkup number two and i will be back later okay guys so it's the end of the night um as far as i can tell i don't know if you can see let's bring in i have no more makeup here or right here on my cheeks um which you know it's a cc cream it's not saying that's going to be like a miracle product i also didn't use any primer so, um, yeah, that's the only thing is that it must, it completely went away here and on my chin. First it started on my chin, then on my cheek. So, all in all, I do like this product. All, all that really, that it claims is that it blurs, um, your discoloration, like redness, um, dark spots and stuff like that. So, it did blur it. It definitely did. It's a very creamy, very luxurious feeling, um, product. So, I really do like it for that. And it's too dark for my skin that's okay that was the only main issue I had with it it did wear throughout the day but I wouldn't wear this out like a normal day like I did today where I was going everywhere on the planet getting different things like running like a huge errand day I wouldn't do that normally I'd usually go ahead and put on a full face of makeup if I'm filming and doing all that stuff I'd go ahead and just do the whole shebang but if I was just like lounging around the house going to the grocery store that type of thing or just hanging out with people at the house I would definitely use this product so I do like it it did it feels really good on my skin my skin is moisturized it doesn't usually since it's been colder my skin throughout the day will get drier it feels very moisturized so that's a really good plus so I'm really finally guys a CC cream I like I can't believe it that's really exciting but um, so I really do like this product I just wish it was lighter for me and I can't believe medium light like it's way too dark for me that's that's saying something I need to get me some self tanner or something you, I feel like this is good for all age types if you have mature skin, if you have skin like mine, um, but it's just don't expect a lot of coverage because I did put concealer on my spots and it did last up for a little bit, but it didn't, it's not like an all day long wearing product. So yeah, so go check out the Clinique CC Cream. It's definitely the best I've ever tried and I really like it. And anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any products out there that you want me to try, just leave them in the comments below or you can show, uh, share it with me on Twitter. And I'll go out and buy it for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.